Paleontologists at the University of Texas are digging up some fossils of their own, so to speak. They're finishing up research that was started way back in the 1930s. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne joins us in studio with that story. Hey, Casey. Hey, Rebecca. FDR's New Deal led to the Works Progress Administration, or WPA. It put people to work all over the country. Some of that work here in Texas was digging up dinosaur fossils, and much of what they did is finally seeing the light of day. Okay, you can't do a dinosaur story without getting a Jurassic Park reference in somewhere. This huge warehouse on UT's J.J. Pickle Research Campus looks like it would belong to Dr. John Hammond himself, but Matthew Brown is actually the director of museum operations. Our collections actually date back to the 1880s. And where are we? The Texas Vertebrate Paleontology Collections. There's some old KTBC footage of these guys in action from 1967. Brown says during the WPA years of the 30s and 40s, there was a project that brought a lot of inventory to these shelves. So the WPA project put hundreds of Texans uh, to work across the state collecting fossils. Brown says workers excavated in dozens of Texas counties and brought fossils back to Austin encased in what's called jackets. When the fossils were collected, they were wrapped up in plaster and burlap in order to protect them, just like you put a, a plaster cast on a broken bone. For decades, many of the fossils found by WPA workers have been here in this climate-controlled basement. Over time, as research projects have come up, some of them have been opened, but uh, it's a pretty labor-intensive process. And so unless you have a specific research question, uh, we generally don't open and undertake these, these big projects. Brown says thanks to some funds recently raised on UT's Horn Razor website, undergraduates have been opening up the field jackets and removing the rock around them to expose millions of years of history underneath. Some of these fossils are 220 million years old. Students have even found a brand new species of reptile. One Brown says may have looked like this when it was alive. Sometimes you can open a jacket and you don't know what's in it and, and, uh, and you'll find all gets like Christmas. You find all kinds of new information in there that you didn't expect to find. According to Brown, the point is to open up all of the remaining fossil jackets and put them in museum quality storage housings. And so one of our goals is to, is to preserve that data so that so that researchers, so that the general public can understand um, how life has changed through time, uh, how we got to where we are now, and to gain some insights into maybe where we'll be going in the future. Brown says paleontologists will be heading back to Bee County, Texas, where many of these fossils were found, to try to find out what else is there underneath the dirt.